Welcome to the Eternal Science Tutorial, Part 1, Basic Flight. I am Ada, your personal artificial defense assistant, and I will try to teach you the basics of the game. In this tutorial, we will cover basic flight controls and targeting. When ready, please enter the tutorial fighter ahead and fly out of the hangar using your forward thrusters. Your ship also has thrusters mounted on the front and the sides. Using these thrusters will enable you to fly in any direction while still maintaining view of your target. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with the thrusters. Eliminated. destroyed. Warning. High radiation level detected. Warning. High radiation level detected. Detected. Eliminated. Target destroyed.
target destroyed. energy. damage. destroyed. Energy. Target eliminated. Target destroyed. Target 
You are deserting the battlefield, automatically adjusting course. Deserting the battlefield. Automatically adjusting course. You are deserting the battlefield. Asserting the battlefield. Water. 
automatically adjusting course level detected. You are you are deserting the battle you 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 are this you 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 are deserting the battlefield. Automatically adjusting course. You are deserting the battlefield. High radiation level detected. Welcome to part 2 of the tutorial, Game Rules. Here you will learn about ship types and the different phases of the hardcore game mode. Please use the consoles to learn about the different ship types. When you're ready, exit the hangar in a heavy fighter. Hello here. I need somebody to watch my six. Deserting the battlefield. You are deserting the battlefield, automatically adjusting course.
it eliminated. automatically adjusting course. Target eliminated. Good. Target eliminated. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target eliminated. You are deserting the battlefield. Automatically adjusting course. eliminated. The bomber's role is to take out the enemy corvettes. It carries a hull piercing machine gun, iron bombs, and has room for a gunner. The gunner commands a particle cannon as well as heat seeking mines. The bomber can take a lot of damage but lacks speed and maneuverability. 
In addition, the bomber is a priority target for enemy defenders, so be sure to leave with an escort if possible. This will increase your chance of success greatly. The Interceptor is a fast, long-range ship. It carries two heavy machine guns and long-range, high-explosive guided missiles. It shares the purpose of the heavy fighter, defending corvettes against incoming enemies. The Interceptor is as fast as the fighter, but less maneuverable. This makes it vulnerable in dogfights. The fighter is the most maneuverable ship available, and its speed is matched only by the Interceptor. It carries particle cannons and guided missiles. The fighter ship excels in escort missions, protecting bombers and dropships from enemy defenders. The heavy fighter sacrifices speed and mobility for more firepower. It carries a heavy matter cannon as well as two short to medium ranged flak cannons. It is best suited for a defensive role and excels in taking down slow ships such as dropships and bombers. It has deadly efficiency when attacking head-on. The dropship is a troop carrier. Its role is to bring your troops to the enemy hangar during the attack phase. It can carry up to five passengers at a time, and will also function as a mobile spawn point. All passengers are put in control of an onboard turret to fend off enemy fighters. The pilot can drop heat-seeking mines. You can only board the enemy capital ship during the attack phase. Marines, ready to board! Start out in the strike phase. During this phase, each team has a capital ship and a number of corvettes engaged in battle. This phase continues until all the corvettes of either UTF or NGM have been destroyed. That was our last corvette. Prepare for enemy landings. Now I'll walk you through the phases of the game. As you can see, your corvettes have just been destroyed. This puts your team in the defend phase. During the defend phase, you have to protect your capital ship from invading enemies until reinforcements arrive. The countdown at the top of your HUD shows you just how long that will take. The enemy will try to board your capital ship and capture your ship's subsystems. You must prevent that from happening. The first line of defense is in space, taking down incoming enemy fighters and dropships. If the enemy manages to get inside, the fight continues on foot. If the enemy manages to capture a subsystem, your reinforcement timer will stop and the enemy will gain a spawn point on your capital ship. It is therefore vital to keep the enemy away from your subsystems. There are enemy dropships incoming. Shoot them down before they board your capital ship.
Now it's our turn. Let's give them all we've got. Good job. You've defended your ship and the reinforcements have arrived. This puts you back into the strike phase. During the strike phase, your team must destroy the enemy corvettes before they destroy yours. Whichever team manages to destroy the corvettes first will gain the attack phase. Fly back inside your capital ship and switch to a bomber. Good. Fly out of the hangar and continue towards the right here. I need some Take cover. Mark with an attack sign on your HUD. Your weapons have a limited range of one kilometer. Firing your weapons while out of range will only serve to draw unnecessary attention to yourself. Cut your engines whenever possible. This will greatly reduce the enemy's ability to detect and intercept you. Destroy the corvettes up ahead to continue into attack phase. You must board the enemy's capital ship and capture its subsystems before their reinforcements arrive. In this tutorial, you will face no opposition and there is only one subsystem. In a real battle, the enemy capital ship will be heavily defended against attackers and there will be multiple subsystems to capture. Continue inside and capture the hangar subsystem.
attacking the Corvettes. We need cover. You must board the enemy's capital ship and capture its subsystems before their reinforcements arrive. In this tutorial, you will face no opposition and there is only one subsystem. In a real battle, the enemy capital ship will be heavily defended against attackers and there will be multiple subsystems to capture. Continue inside and capture the hangar subsystem. Part 2 of the Eternal Silence Tutorial.